And as the university starts the fall semester, the on-campus housing shortage is still a problem for some students. News 18's Peria Postalakos is live on campus this evening. She has more now from Purdue Student Government about that. Perry. Hey there, Jeff. Purdue President Mitch Daniels and Provost Acreage sent out a welcome message today saying that the university has set another enrollment record this fall. 50,000 undergraduate and graduate students are now attending Purdue University, but not all of them have their permanent housing situation set up just yet. 54 students are living in temporary housing at Purdue as the fall semester begins. 16 more still need to move in. University Residences is set to move students into their permanent campus homes starting the week of August 29th. They expect to be finished by mid-September. It is still obviously an issue and anybody in temporary housing is a problem that we need to solve, but it's definitely in, on the lesser side of the extremes than it was, say, last year or the year before. The university currently estimates 38,000 of this year's record-breaking 50,000 students are undergraduates. As News 18 has previously reported, a spire at Discovery Park was purchased this year to add more beds for students. Aspire added 400 leased beds to the 15,562 total beds available in university residences. According to the university's housing website, a studio apartment at Aspire costs $12,500 for the academic year. Rates are cheaper for their two-bedroom and four-bedroom apartment options. Two bedrooms cost $500 less and four bedrooms can cost up to $900 less. Purdue Student Government Press Secretary Evan Chris says the housing shortage has improved since last year when the issue was number one on the organization's priority list. But I haven't seen it nearly as much as it was last year where it was everywhere. Like I couldn't go on any social media without seeing someone have an issue with it. But this year it seems to be less of a problem. Every student deserves to have a normal dorm uh, situation when they get here. Chris says thus far no students have reached out to student government with housing issues. Students living in temporary housing pay a discounted rate until they move in to permanent housing. Reporting live in West Lafayette on the Purdue University campus, I'm Perry Apostolakos, News 18.